Intro take two, Minecraft Saber Bow. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at the Nerf Minecraft Saber Wing. Um, this is a blaster based on the Saber, I guess the Saber Wing from Minecraft Dungeons, as I stated in my Stormlander video. Um, I have not played Minecraft Dungeons, I just play normal Minecraft. I think that's what it looks like in game. I'll should put a picture of it, what it looks like in game on screen now. And this blaster is quite interesting. That's an interesting story how I found it. I was at Walmart looking for other blasters because I ran out of blasters review. And going through the nerf section of my Walmart. Also my Walmart has, um, is also, the nerf section is next to the Lego section, in the Lego section too. So we have nerf on one side, Lego on the other. Then they have the tall shelves and they have a short half shelf where you can look over um, towards the end of the aisle. And they have some nerf Minecraft, uh, not nerf Minecraft, some Lego Minecraft sets. Lego sets on the um, area, and I look over and see this upside down, mind you. And yeah, I know it says Nerf here, but without looking too much, and because it was like covered like halfway like this, I didn't know this. This I thought this was like, oh, it's a big Lego Minecraft set. No, it's a blaster. This blaster, to be precise. So I went over there, looked at it, found this and another blaster that we will review some other day, um, that I had no idea had come out, and this I had no idea existed. So without all that out of the way, let's start talking about the box. Alright, so before we get into talking about the box, this well, I gotta tell you when this box came out. This box came out in 2022, this year. So, a little bit, a little bit, uh, probably a reason I didn't even know it existed. Um, haven't checked pricing on it yet, if it's online. I wonder if it's uh, like a Ranger incident where I bought it so early it's not even online now. But uh, let's start off. We have the 8 plus the Minecraft, the title. Comes with 8 elite darts. Requires 4 AA batteries. Which, by the way, uh, for those who are familiar with Nerf, usually when there's a bow and arrow, it's usually this is pulling back a spring that fires air through a plunger tube. But this time this is motorized. Um, and of course, here. Plant free, plant free packaging. Plant free? Plastic free packaging. This is all plant. Um, and the weird part is this is a motorized bow. That's not how weird it gets. So, let's show the back real quick. So, step one tells you to pull the string to rev. I would have preferred this to be the trigger because th this should be more like a rev switch, but I guess they want this to be the rev, and that is your trigger. But that's not the weird part. That's the weird part. It has an eight round clip, eight round magazine. This is a magazine fed motorized bow, probably flywheel. Um, yeah, because it's a rev uh, trigger thing. That's, it's really weird. Also, it is need, it needs to be assembled. It has to be assembled. So it can be 28 inches long. But I guess it's a pretty big blaster. Um, so yeah. Um, Let's stop talking about the box and get it out and see what this thing's all about. Oh, that is really orange. Um, these are like a gold color. It's really, really orange and kind of... I, wow, it's actually pretty big too. Here's the darts. I guess there's gold darts. And as usual, I like collecting darts, so it won't be ew. It's brown. Brown darts. I told you not to cut this string because you know that's part of the blaster. This is kind of a hard blaster to take out of its package. Ah, I don't want to scratch it. Come on. There we go. Have our instructions. And darts. Alright. Let's get this thing assembled. Alright, so it seems like that's the battery compartment. And this is one of the wings. It's the bottom wing. Um I'm gonna take that off. These seem to clip into here. Let's 
go see. Probably one time assembly. All right, clips in like that. Doesn't pull back too far. It's a little disappointing. Um, does reciprocate our battery compartment, so let me get some batteries. So there's no rail mounts on this, barrel attachments or stock point attachment points uh, on this blaster. But it is magazine fed. So I have a plethora of magazines that I will be testing in this. Uh, all Nerf branded, so it doesn't really confuse a little too much. So let's see its compatibility. And... Okay. Uh, there's a jam door here. And then there's your... That's the jam door? The magazine's in the way. Anyway, let's pull this really weird Angel Wing magazine. Oh, that is a interesting looking magazine. It's really, really thick too. Like, I mean the bow itself is, but wow. All right. So there's your saber wing. It's a pretty, pretty big blaster. Um, already think it's, it seems pretty cool. So I'm gonna get those other magazines and we'll test it out. All right, so here's our plethora of magazines I talked about. Um, we'll start off smallest, so six rounds first. Actually fits. Does it? Hmm? I take that back, I lied, it doesn't fit. So now for the sixth round, how about a 12? Nope. 18 round? And now time for the 25. I mean, it might have, but... Okay, so... Already docking points for compat... Oh, didn't one more magazine. Probably won't work, but... Ten round curve. Yeah. Already docking points for uh, the Saber. Saber wing because it's not compatible with any magazine, even though it's made by Nerf. I guess we gotta go test fire it now. Um, start with the accuracy test, then we'll do the range and speed test to see how this thing fares. And I know that the comments are gonna probably ask, so I brought out a motor blitz uh, to test the magazine compatibility. And the answer is no, the magazine does not work in blasters. It will, but if you flip it upside down or shake it, it goes too high in the blaster. So if I pull the trigger, you'll notice that it's getting in the way. So no, the Angel Wing magazine for the Saber, Saber Wing does not work with other blasters. I mean, it barely works uh, because it's missing the stopper. As you can see on the standard 18 round magazine and other magazines, they have this stopper that prevents the blaster from um, from it going all the way through like this magazine. And this is also the reason why, um, about the reason why this magazine won't fit in there is because of the stopper. So, already a little bit disappointed about this blaster. So, let's just move on to the range test and, well, not the range test, the accuracy test, and see how this thing actually, you know, if it's accurate. They're just kind of hard to aim with it, it seems. No sights or anything. So, uh, yeah, let's go see how it fares. All right, accuracy test. Start out with our Nerf, Nerf, our Nerf Elite Darts, Saber Wing. 
Let's pull the rev back. See if I can hit anything. Hmm. It's fairly accurate, believe it or not. Um, so let's move on to the next dart, the Adventure Force darts. We have our Adventure Force darts. And... <sighs> I'm getting deja vu. Minecraft blaster, target's getting knocked down. Alright, now into the Adventure Force. What? <laughs> I got it stuck in the target. Accuracy on this thing is actually not bad. And that dart, I, I, I'm gonna show that right now. Look at that thing. Caught it right in the, right in the target. All right, so now let's move on to the dart zone darts and then we'll go into the range and speed test. All right, so have our dart zone sure shot darts. Target set up. Let's see if we can hit anything. This thing is accurate. We'll see what its ranges are and its speed to see if accuracy is its only redeeming quality. Um, yeah, let's go do the range test now. Alright, so here we are at the range test. Four contacts. Uh, the chicken is 25 feet from where we're standing. The frog, you can see that the frog there, is 40 feet. And the far wall over there is 50. We're going to start out with the uh, Nerf Elite darts. And let's see if I can get the chronograph to work. Uh, barrel is there. 69, 77, duplicate 77, 69, 71, 75, duplicate 75, 77, and that's it. Dang, and that thing was going 40 feet, like, easily. Okay, uh, let's move on to the... Um, dark Adventure Force now to see if those go any better. But dang, that's not bad. All right, we have our Adventure Force green waffle darts in the saber, saber bow, saber something, saber wing. Uh, all right, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, seventy-five. 79, 80, 61, 64, 93, 93, dang, and that 93 went all the way to the 50 foot mark, I thought I hit the wall, and of course I was aiming down a little bit, so the first couple shots were hitting the chicken, I'm not counting those, but 93 out of this thing? Inconsistent, but it can go pretty high. All right, now let's move on to dart zone. All right, so we have our dart zone sure shot darts and the saber wing. I keep wanting to call it like a saber bow, but anyway. 77, 78, 220. I don't know how accurate that is, but okay. 74, 72, 75, 76. Those are going pretty far. Of course, I was angling up on them a little bit, but still. That was a slight angle, too. All right, uh, let's go look at the range data now. And, uh, I mean, come on. That's still impressive. Well, from over here, it's impressive. So let's see actually how far they went. All right, so you can see here, we have darts going almost to the 50 foot mark. A lot of them landed here, right there and there. 
And then we have some of our shorter falling darts here. And generally, I'm gonna say in general, reaches about 40 feet. Um, you know, 45 feet actually. I'm willing to say it goes 45 feet. Um, so, without all of the way, let's go on to my final thoughts. All right, so what are my final thoughts on the Nerf Minecraft Saberwing? Before we do that, as usual, we need to go over it's uh, where I bought it and how much I spent. I bought this at Walmart for $41.88. Pretty steep price for this thing. Um, I'm already going to go out and say that. Um, and online, I can't seem to find anyone else. It's another one of the. It's another one of those Ranger situations where the blaster I purchased way before it's out on shelves because I guess. My Walmarts and my uh, Targets seem to release blasters early for some reason. So, here we are. So, um, yeah. That's its pricing for this thing. Not much else to say. That not, just, not much neutral thoughts to say about it. So, let's go on to the pros and cons. Alright, so what are the pros and cons on this blaster? My opinion on this blaster um, first off, let's go over the cons. Uh, the first con, it's a con that I cannot get over. It's the magazine. The fact that the magazine and the blaster are not compatible with any other Nerf product kind of bothers me. Um, if, if you lose the magazine, the magazine goes bad, like the spring breaks or the magazine just breaks or something, you're kind of at a loss. There's no way to use this blaster without the magazine as the blaster itself does not rev without a magazine and you can't fit any other magazines in there. So, kind of a bummer. Um, other issues that could be an issue is this string here. If this thing breaks, also you can't really use the blaster. Um, so, this thing doesn't probably won't have much of a longevity. It's not going to be one of those blasters that can last that long, I don't think. And that pricing for this thing for being forty dollars, you need to have the ability to be compatible with other magazines. It's not the fact that it's not compatible with like Adventure Force or a Dart Zone magazine or even an X Shot magazine. It's the fact that it's not even compatible with its own magazines from Nerf themselves that they've been manufacturing for like probably nearly ten years now. It doesn't make any sense. All the other blasters that they make are compatible, but not this one. A little bit of a um, a little bit sad there. Um, so let's go on the positive note, though. Um, first off, uh, let's talk about small minor things like ergonomics. This is not as uncomfortable as the Stormlander. Honestly, it's pretty comfortable. Pretty comfortable grip. Pretty comfortable pull. I don't know if you consider that a con, though. Let's just come back to the how it works. I kind of wish this was the trigger. That was the rev switch. You, you, you win some, you lose some. Some things make sense, some things don't. But and it's really hard to aim. But back to the pros, um, it is like I said, comfortable um, and not as uncomfortable as it doesn't have any jagged edge, edges where you're gripping. Um, also, the edges on here also feel a little bit smoother. These are a little bit smoothed out a little bit more than the Stormlander was. Um, <clears throat> but other than that. Let's go on to its major pros. This thing is accurate. This thing is super accurate for some reason. I was able to hit those targets. And those targets are the same as they've always been. You know, 18 feet away, and it still hits them. And it's still hit. I probably hit more targets in this video than I have any other video I've made. Out of all the blasters, I've, even the Mark, Dark Zone Mark II wasn't able to hit those kind of targets from that kind of distance. So, I'm impressed with this thing, <clears throat> with that. It could possibly save it. Uh, and of course, the range, the range on this thing. Going 40 feet, like barely angled, all because I'm trying to get it straight, uh, trying to get it so it can go through the chronograph. This thing was hitting 40 feet, and that is impressive. I am very impressed with its range and its accuracy. And it's compatibility with darts, because all those darts, none of them were different. They seem to be very consistent. The consistency with its darts are it's very impressive, in my opinion. So, I will give it props for that. Um, 
would I recommend the Blaster? At a $40 price tag that makes it un not compatible with other magazines, magazines not compatible with any other Blaster, no. Not at $45, not at $40, not at $40, no. Maybe $20, yes, if you guys did this half off, but always keep in mind, magazine, magazine release, also I probably didn't mention, it's a little weird. Uh, you think the button, button should go in farther, but it's a really short push before the magazine comes out. I just thought I should mention that. But for $40, no, this is not worth $40, especially with incompatibility issues. Um... All right, so uh, yeah, that'll be the end of the review. Uh, comment your thoughts on this blaster. What do you think about this blaster? Uh, comment what else you want to see on this channel. Uh, make sure to check out the Stormlander, which is another Nerf Minecraft product, a new, another Nerf Minecraft blaster. Make sure to check that one out. Also check out my other videos. I'll have both of those linked at the end of um, this video. Uh, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time.